Hey team, what's up? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. Uh, today we're starting this kind of new series, We As In Me, and you together on this journey. Um, where we're going through like levels zero through 20. So when you're born to when you're about 20 years old. Um, I'm going to be explaining kind of like how this whole system comes about within you, how you become a certain type and the specifics of the different types and whatnot, um, how the different cognitive functions work. And hopefully we'll get deeper and deeper through all this, but with like a gamified twist. So first, you're born, you start off as this little adventuring dude or dudette, and um, you're kind of just an adventurer, right? You have no specific style, you haven't chosen a class, you're just kind of like racking up experience and talent points, right? And just picking up random gear uh, that doesn't quite match. And eventually, you know, you start to say, well, I, I like this, this worked out, right? Maybe I like to be a healer. Maybe I want to be a warrior or a mage or whatever it is, a hunter. Um, and the more you put energy and time into that training to go down one of those paths, the quicker it gets, right? So you're burning neural pathways and you're just making information flow quicker, faster, becomes easier, there's less resistance to it, right? All this good stuff. And then you've kind of chosen your class. Well, your style, right? Are you a feeler, a thinker, intuitive, or a sensor, right? Or in, in the boss mod terminology, I guess it would be a healer, a mage, um, what did I say, a hunter, or a warrior. So you do that and then you decide you want to kind of specialize a little bit more and you choose an attitude which is introversion or extroversion. So then you get kind of more nuanced with your class, right? You're no longer a cleric, well you're no longer just a healer, you're either like a cleric or a priest, right? No longer just a mage but you're a geomancer or an arcanist, or, you know, kind of that whole thing offensive spec warrior or a tank um and you do that and you start getting better at that too and then you start understanding that this is where you want to exist where you want to live right and you start getting this compulsion to do it more and more and uh, when you act in accordance with that your dominant function then you you know it feel, fills you up doesn't feel you up. Um, it, uh, it energizes you, it puts you in flow, you know, you just, it's what you should do. Um, this becomes kind of like your core strength, like one of those defining things of who you are within, who, who you are within your personality, right? Um, and things are good, right? You're working on it, you're learning, you're gaining new experience, things are working out well. Um, and you're exploring at this time, like, what you like and what you don't like, especially within um, the frame of, like, that cognitive function, right? Whatever your style is. <laughs> um, like, I think this is the right morally just thing to do, so I'm going to do this. So this isn't, so I'm not going to do that. Or if I make a decision based on this information that's good or whatever 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 there's tons of different specifics that i can't get into in this video but you do that enough you like it you get all these new experiences and the more you focus on that one style the more you start to repress the polar opposite that becomes your inferior function the repressed side right in your unconscious um but you also go back and forth between both your hero, your dominant function, and your inferior function. Um, and what I consider this to be like is like just that quick respec, right? Like I was uh, a defensive healer, a priest, 
but I'm just going to respec and be this offensive mage and be a geomancer and just start moving things around and seeing what happens, making quick decisions, right? Looking at the, the logical details and the facts and just going from there, right? It's completely opposite style, right? Or like if you were, I don't know, if you're an extroverted intuition user, right? So you're just exploring all these different ideas and possibilities. You're this gunslinger, right, with the shotgun. And then you're like, no, what? I'm just going to respec. And you pick up a random shield and a sword, and you're trying to tank. You're not very good at it, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you try it. You experience it. And the, the thing is, it actually kind of feels good because it's completely different, right? It's just this new style, this new world of possibilities, right? Um, so you go through these like highs and lows of emotions and experiences and whatnot, and it, it, it's exciting. It's kind of addicting, right? Um, I consider that to be like, this is kind of where I'm going with it right now. Um, is to be like this daemon, this little spirit force that kind of follows you around and he doesn't have bad intentions for you, but wants you to explore different, you know, things. Just go different paths in life and see what happens, right? And through those suggestions, that's when you kind of respect and you go to this other side and you try to do something that's counter to how you normally act. Um, and let's see. So you are leveling up. You're gaining new experience, right? You're fighting bigger and stronger monsters. And you're still getting pulled back into this. Maybe I should try this other spec, right? It's not my strength, but I think as human beings, we want to balance our strengths and weaknesses, right? Not everybody, maybe. I don't know. I do. But uh, So you do that, and things are kind of off whack. And this is unfortunately, like, you know, in your late teens, and you're expected to, you know, graduate high school and go to university and start, you know, picking a career and just making all these huge life choices. And it's rough, right? Because you have that daemon that's like, just try this, do this other thing, experiment, and just messes you up, right? Um, but eventually you do find a way to bridge your communication to your inferior function, and that is through the auxiliary function which I will get into in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, start a conversation, do all that good stuff. And good luck, have fun. See ya.